Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two of the new SBC cards to review today. So pretty happy about the Danilo card because I'm an FC Porto fan my, myself. So it's a usable right back card other than Corona because I could totally put Corona like a five of the back formation and do something with that because of Marcano, Pep and Alex Tellas in the team. But pretty cool that Danilo is now a card. So I'll probably figure something out. Uh, in regards to that but for this review we're going to be reviewing Jordan Lukaku so we're taking a look at a player that is five foot ten with four star skill moves and a four star weak foot brain fart right there uh, preferred foot is on his left side high medium work rates so obviously we're starting off really nice in regards to the usable concept uh, now if you take a look at his base card stats this is a card you can use in any position, right? Because of the fact that he has the defense and physical capabilities. Now, if I remember correctly, this card has a stocky body type. Now, stocky body type might not be ideal to use on the sides because you want players to be as agile as possible. But we're going to be trying it out regardless in the attacking areas, midfield areas, fullback areas, whatever it is. Uh, and then I'll basically be able to give you guys the full gist of it afterwards. So with this card, he's got 93 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. You don't necessarily need to improve that. Uh, shooting. Now, because he is a left winger, I do want to give him the sniper chemistry style for the plus 15 in finishing since he already has the shot power and the long shots. And he has 90 components. Composure. But, excuse me, a sniper chemistry style will give him a plus 5 for composure, a plus 8 for agility with a plus 5 for balance as well as the other 3 dribbling stats. So that should be very important because he also has long shots too, which is awesome. I think he's a left-footed player, right? So it's like a combination of... Because he has a four-star weak foot, will the four-star weak foot be good enough in the left attacking mid position? We'll be able to try that out afterwards, but we'll see. Uh, we are also going to be boosting his attacking position by a plus five. Like I said, I don't really feel like he needs his pace to be upgraded. It looks fine. I don't think he's going to be that fast before using it because of the body type, but we're going to obviously check that out in game. Um, base card stats for passing isn't crazy for curve. But you're not really going to notice a difference considering the fact that his short passing is a 95 and his long passing is 84 with 87 vision and 99 crossing. So uh, not necessarily a big deal there. Dribbling on the card is phenomenal. So the reason why I like this card being a rotational player is because you could totally use him in the left back position if you really want to. You could totally use him in the right back position if you want to because he at least has the four star weak foot. You can use him in any of the midfield positions. CDM is the attacking oriented one, right? Because of the stocky body type, solid defensive presence, right? Um, in the attack, I think I'd mostly see him being used in the sides than up top. But I do think he could be a usable striker too. Like again, it's a rotational player. It's a player that you can use in most of the positions. Uh, but for the sake of the, this review, we're going to go ahead and just give him the sniper, chem sniper chemistry style like I do on most of the cards anyways. I'm going to go ahead and see what his physical stats are like with his body type. So he does have good base defensive stats except for defensive awareness. But dudes, as you guys know, if you use any attacking player that has defensive capabilities up top, it's amazing to have. But then he also has physical dudes. He's got 99 strength, 92 aggression. You know, like it's not something that you have to improve. With this card, it almost seems like I'd want to give him uh, whatever gives him shooting in defense probably because I think for the rotational concept, it would make the most sense to give to be able to use him in most positions. Like the dribbling, I would just, I would just deal with. If I want to put him in the attacking positions, I would deal with it. And then if I want to put him in the midfield position, it would be great, right? So, But I think improving the defense as much as possible should be an ideal thing to want to do, right? But in-game, we are going to be using the 4-2-3-1, as we normally do. Uh, Jordan Lukaku, I want to try him out in the left attacking mid position first. Lozano in the... Nope. Dembele in the middle. With Lozano on the right side, Dries Mertens up top. Ooh, now the balance in this team is way better. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We'll do stay central on Dries Mertens. These guys will be unbalanced. Ah, very smart here. So cut pass lanes for both of these guys just to get some movement out of them and then stay back while attacking for that. Okay, so we'll use them in the 4-2-3-1. I'm going to use them in like different ways, right? So uh, let's try them on the attack first. See what his dribbling is like. He's actually massive in game. Like he has a... The stocky body type is a very like noticeable trait of his. I think he's offside here. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the big body type is definitely very noticeable in game. Let's see what his transitioning is like here to turn around and stuff. Again, the stocky body type you could definitely feel in regards to that as well. Let's do a fake shot here, quick dribble. Okay, nice, nice. We'll force a run out of this right here. I'm 
come back. He's back in position. Nice. A couple of skill moves. See what happens. Mm. L1 dribbles really quick right there. That's nice. Angled run. Good. Does the angled run. That's awesome. Because like when I tell Dries Mertens to play on just a central, I expect him to... Uh, I expect my left and right attacking mids to move in that way. You guys know that's like my... Biggest preference in regards to attacking midfielders. He comes back here. That's actually really nice. This guy will make a run right here. And then that's Dembele. So we'll go to the right side because if I shoot his left foot, his weak foot, it doesn't even matter in that situation. He'll be able to score it. Um, I do think this card's going to be incredibly usable so far. I don't think it's... Um, these types of things in the attacking areas, it's, the, it's, it's very few things that you have to check out, right? It's movement uh, to see if it's usable. Sometimes players are very stagnant. He doesn't feel like he's going to be a stagnant player. The, my biggest thing that I like so far is the fact that this card has a defensive presence in the attacking areas, right? So if I want to use him in the midfield position, it's supposed to be a fake shot, just doesn't register. Um, if I want to use him in the midfield position, you know, center mid, especially like in a 4-1-2-2 two two or something, like in a left center mid position, um, he'd be pretty cool to use there. Like even in that situation, he kind of like cuts inside. You see how he doesn't like completely stick to the side right there? Look at his move. Look at his, look at his movement right now. You see that? I love that, dude. Offers his support constantly. It works really well because Dries Mertens is a high low work rated player, so it's actually really nice. Again, you're definitely gonna feel the stocky body type on the card, regardless of the dribbling chemistry style that you give on him. What I want to try here is a shot across goal from that angle, and we're gonna get rewarded for something something bad. That's FIFA stuff, you know, FIFA stuff. Um, those aren't high percentage shots, those are just shots you take, like, randomly, but I just wanted to try it out with this shot power. Oh, look at that, defensive presence right there. Always nice to have, man, in any of the positions. Guy's making a run. It's Dembele, too. Dembele's amazing. Love using this card. We'll get some skill moves off, see what he does here. Goes back into position. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that he doesn't go into the middle right there. Because since Dembele is at the bottom, I would have expected him to do that. But it's good that he didn't. A couple of dribbling right there just to see if we can open up the space with Lozano. Don't end up getting the opportunity. I could have initially shot for sure, but just wanted to try that out. Lukaku is definitely going to be the nice uh, left attacking mid if you have him on comeback and defense, right? Because he has the stamina. He has the physical presence and defensive stats to be able to do all that stuff. So that should be pretty fun to use as well. His dribbling is really not that bad. I, I could compensate well for it because of the fact that his stocky body type is actually very helpful for a lot of like physical situations. Because he's a left-footed player, I kind of want to try him out in the right attacking mid position more. Because I just prefer that, right? When a player is... Um, when a player is a strong foot, if, if their strong foot is, is left footed, but they're a four star weak foot, I just prefer to use them on the right side. And then the same vice versa with Lozano being a right footed player on the left side, I would just prefer that. So um, we're going to go ahead and try that out. As the second half progresses, I might actually start moving him into the midfield from certain positions because this guy has Simone on this team. So we'll be able to uh, make some substitutions easily because I really feel like Jordan Lukaku could be a really good CDM on bounce instructions for the attacking oriented aspect, right? So um, I want to see what that's like with this card. Because I, I, with fullbacks, it's like it, it, there's not really much to test out, right? Like it's, uh, it's pretty generic. You just have to see if they come back in defense really quickly, if they overcommit. Uh, because their body type and defensive stats are obviously going to be amazing. Okay, so because of the way that this guy is kind of lined up and the way that Jordan Lukaku is moving, I can definitely see that I have to use stay central and get in behind for Mertens. Uh, just to get that specific movement consistently from him, you know what I'm saying? Like it's uh, He's doing it once in a while because Dries Mertens is a type of striker that even on stay central he pushes out wide. So Jordan Lukaku kind of like restricts himself from doing it. Um, so I just want to try that out with, uh, Mertens on stay central game behind. Touch, upwards, left foot strike, nicely done. Nice. Good positioning by him there, to be honest. Obviously, the fact that he has shot power already is amazing. Like, you don't have to, uh, 
You don't have to boost it, and it's the most important thing to have because you can always give the card the sniper chemistry style, improve their dribbling, improve their finishing as much as possible to make the card incredibly usable. But even in that situation, you can see that his dribbling is like a stocky dribbling, but again, you can compensate well for it, right? That's too close to the goalkeeper? Oh, it's not. We actually scored that opportunity. Uh, Dembele's card is so much fun to use, man. Yeah, you kind of have to control that, like, left stick dribbling a little bit with him. Wait for him to take that touch and then, you know, instantly use the left stick to be able to go into certain positions quickly, like we did for the goal, right? Nice movement. Oh, am I going to get that? Yep. We got lucky right there, because the pass is good, Blair did the interception, Develi gets the ball back there. Nicely done. Uh, what I want to do, I think this guy's going to leave this game, yeah, so, okay, so that's perfect. So, um, I think he's very usable in the left attacking mid and right attacking mid position, for sure. Uh, and it's nice to have a defensive presence in those positions. What I am noticing, though, is that the way that he plays, I think I would prefer to use him as, like, a left mid or a right mid in a 3-5-2 formation, or... You know, even as a left center back, for him, for him to have like some sort of a, uh, some sort of attacking presence in the three of the back formation, or even like a midfield role where I'm playing him in the CDM position and he can just, um, you know, be a balanced, a balanced uh, instruction player with just cover center and then the other person on stay back while attacking cover center. So uh, I do want to try him out there now. All right, guys. So since my boy has the perfect team to be able to try this out, I want to use him as a CDM this time on balance instructions. I like to use them in the CDM position because it allows me to test out whether or not they would be good um, as a center mid as well because I just use the same instructions on them. It's just cover center, uh, cover center. I think this I have to change. I don't really like cut passing lanes too much. I guess it depends on the situation of the game. But with Jordan Lukaku, I'm going to have him on balanced. I'm going to play the rest of the game normally. And then we'll basically see from there. Hopefully he has like some sort of like defensive presence to come back without me having to give him a chemistry style. Like his defensive awareness is not crazy, but with the sniper chemistry style, he's got a crazy attacking presence, especially with the 96 attacking positioning. So let's see what's up with that. See that part right there? That physical presence that he has is awesome, man. It's, it's situations like that where it's like, you know, maybe if you want to use him as a fullback, you may want to give him the anchor chemistry style so that he's, um, you know, he's got the most acceleration or the most sprint speed possible so he can chase players in those situations. Because at the end of the day, when you have a stocky body type, it's going to affect the way um, your players are going to run in those situations, right? So you, you need to boost the acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible. If you want to use him in the midfield position, you definitely need to give him defensive stats. Um, so again, that shooting and that defense... That shooting and defense boost that you give the card would be very, very helpful because... Again, it just allows you to be able to rotate the player in whatever position you want to put him in. So if you want to play in a 4-2-3-1, uh, you could totally do that. 4-1-2-1-2, all that good stuff, right? That's the whole point of having a card like this in your squad. So I will say that his stocky body type, no matter what dribbling chemistry style you give him, it will be noticeable in game, um, especially if the gameplay is not up to par, which again is always an unfortunate thing, but it's just something that with some cards you can kind of deal with, some, kind of, some cards you can't. He's definitely very attacking oriented when I play him on balance instructions. If I play him in the midfield position, that's going to be a hugely noticeable thing with this card for sure. Um, yeah, I, th I thought I wasn't going to score that opportunity. I was like, it didn't make the right pass right there. But you can see that the way that he moves across the pitch is that if you use him in those positions, he's just going to be freaking attacking for you, right? Like, uh, it's one of those things where, you, like, like I said, you have to give him the shooting and the defense boost if you want to be able to use him in that position because he needs a defense boost because he doesn't really feel defensive oriented at all and i feel like you definitely need to boost that on the card oh nice run right there at lozano well done 
I like Lozano in the attacking area. If you build up your play slowly and wait for the left and right attacking mids to commit, he's uh, he's pretty nice to use there. I do think that chemistry style is needed, though. Even if you take out the sniper or you take out the dribbling a little bit, it's uh, it's required. The right foot? Oh, okay. It's, it's not a good shot. It's not a good percentage shot. I'm liking the card, man. In the midfield, he's really fun to use because he, he goes into all of the areas of the pitch, which I really, really like, especially if you have uh, Alon just chilling at the back. Like in that situation right there, I should probably do like a drag back after the fake shot just so we can get that angle to, to Dries Mertens. But I just really wanted to try a shot from that angle there. See? Well positioned again right there. Because of the balance instructions, he gets himself into a position where he can score that opportunity. Really nice. Alright guys, so final verdict on this Jordan Lukaku card. For 117k for a card that's rotational, it's not necessarily bad for a Serie A team, especially since he is a Belgian player that can play in any position, right? So for me personally, as I was using the card, um, I felt like it was necessary to give him um, the Gladiator chemistry style, just because... Here's the thing, right? With this card in regards to his dribbling, and gameplay will take into effect as well, his dribbling is not going to be that responsive because of his stocky body type. So even if you were to give him the sniper chemistry style, I still feel like you're going to feel that stocky body type that the card has. Um, so I just feel like it's kind of a waste to give him a sniper if you, and this is a big if, if you are going to rotate to different formations. Now, if you want to specifically just use him in the attack, it makes the most sense to give him the sniper chemistry style because regardless of the dribbling not maybe not feeling like a big difference, the difference will still be there in regards to responsiveness. Again, the 95 finishing 99 shot power, those consistent shots, he'll be able to score. Um, I just think, again, for the rotational concept, the Gladiator makes sense to give him those defensive stats, standing tackles, sliding tackles, interceptions, all that good stuff, especially with his stocky body type, will be very helpful. I was using him in the midfield position and on balance instructions. This guy was attacking all over the place, right? Because of the fact that his um, his attacking was at a 96, he's got high medium work rates. He always found himself in very good positions once I overcommitted, right? Which is great because, you know, scoring opportunities like that is awesome when every player is available when they should be available. So I really wonder what my team would be like if I actually liked and played this game consistently because... My brain just works a certain way where it's like every single player would have to be on point. So it's just very interesting. But I like to use different players to have fun with and kind of experiment with them anyway. So uh, yeah, it's a fun card. It's a rotational card. Again, like I said, guys, Gladiator chemistry style makes the most sense to be able to put him wherever you want to put him. If you want to use him as a fullback, use him as a fullback. I think he does need the acceleration boost if you use him as a fullback, though. Uh, again, because of the body type that he has. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I will catch you guys for the Danilo one after this one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.